Everybody thinks to donate the basic necessities such as shampoo and toilet paper, but what about the items that aren't as obvious but just as important? Well, Flagstaff Shelter Services runs a homeless shelter for men or women housing up to 91 people a night. A volunteer, who's also a board member, was helping with our nightly check-in and noticed that a number of our clients were using a rope or duct tape or plastic bags in place of a belt. So he started a belt drive among his friends on Facebook and it kind of caught on from there and we've received dozens of belts for our clients. The, the belt drive helped me because I actually needed belts just like we need clothing here um, to look good for interviews and keep my pants from falling down all over town. Other clients here too, they have belts and they need belts. They have belts, they're very proud of it and they're trying to um, get interviews and... Yeah, I got a belt I needed. <laughs> but yeah, the, the belt it was good, the good thing. While the shelter is able to host this belt drive, soon there won't be any assistance or sanctuary for the homeless because the shelter will be shut down during the summer. Uh, without the shelter, the majority of the homeless people of the Greater Flagstaff area are camping going out into the non-incorporated areas of the, the forest, setting up a tent if they have one. Uh, that's a very difficult way to live. It's hard to address the root causes of your homelessness if you're spending much of the day just dealing with your survival needs when you're out camping.